This week, Nickelodeon and the master of the plotline twist, M. Night Shyamalan, join up to bring the epic cartoon Avatar The Last Airbender to the big screen. The Last Airbender takes place in a fantasy world where the population is divided into four tribes, each of whom represent earth, air, water, and fire. Within each tribe are people known as benders who have the ability to control or bend their respective elements to their will. To maintain peace among the tribes, there is one known as the Avatar. This individual has the ability to control all elements, thus providing a balance to the world. The Avatar, Aang, has been missing for a hundred years, leaving the tribes to fend for themselves. The Fire Nation seizes this opportunity to massacre all the Air Tribe and try to take control of the entire world. I will not live in peace until I find him. The Avatar returns and the battle is on to defeat the Fire Nation and restore peace, balance, and harmony to the world. I always knew you return. This film is based on the first season of Nickelodeon's cartoon series. There really does seem to be a basis in the Eastern religions throughout the entire storyline with such things as spirits named Yin and Yang and the Avatar himself. The character background of the Avatar certainly mimics some aspects of the Dalai Lama, those primarily being reincarnation and the strong desire to bring peace. As far as this being an M. Night Shyamalan film, I honestly expected more from it. The action scenes and the special effects were great, but the storyline came across as cerebral and at times a bit rushed. It's very difficult to condense an entire season of a show into a two-hour film. Based on the anticipation that surrounded this movie by fans of the cartoon series, I think that there was a missed opportunity here to start a very successful film franchise. The major flaw with this film to the average moviegoer is the lack of character development. If you are going to go to this movie knowing little to nothing about the cartoon series, you will be lost through most of it. But for those who have seen it and are familiar with the cartoon, the reviews are glowing. It was one of the best movies I ever saw. Um, it was awesome because I liked when he um, threw water and fire. Loved it. It was fun to see. Oh, it was a great movie. It was very, very good. The movie was awesome, man. I liked the part where where he made the big wave and then scared the Fire Nation away. It was just a good movie. I can't wait for the other two. Well, I, I thought it was great. The court, It was just beautiful. All the movement was beautiful. I didn't want it to end. I'm ready for the next one. It's great. Cool. So The Last Airbender isn't the best movie I've seen so far this year, but if you're a fan of the series, go ahead and give it a try. For Fox Family Movie Night, I'm Mike Emery.